I'm pretty sure by this time you all know exactly what we're talking about this month. Let's shout it out together. Friendship is using your words and actions to show others you care. All right, yeah, that was awesome. The truth is, I don't know anyone who would say they don't want more friends. But making friends and keeping friends are different than just wanting them. You know the best way to make a friend? Be a friend. And one of the best ways to be a good friend is to encourage someone. In fact, that's what I love about coming to these character education videos. There are so many people here who encourage me, and I love being able to encourage all of you. Today, I want to share a few stories about how one friend encouraged another in a creative way. And then we're all going to get into this game together. In fact, I want you to start thinking right now of a friend who you want to encourage. Okay, most of you know this guy, right? Maybe? Andre the Giant, anyone? He played Fezzik in Princess Bride as well as being a pro wrestler. You can see why, and his amazing size actually led to a really unusual friendship with this guy, Samuel Beckett. He was a famous playwright and author who actually won a Nobel Prize. The story goes that it so happened that Andre was growing so fast and, and Sam Beckett was his neighbor in France and Andre grew and he was over six feet tall and 250 pounds before he was even in high school. He couldn't fit in the school bus. Crazy, right? So Sam Beckett stepped in and he had this big truck and he offered to drive Andre to and from school. So for years, the two of them hung out nearly every day. Samuel Beckett's encouraging actions help Andre stay in school. Now here's an even more amazing story. This one's about two more people you've heard of. This is Helen Keller, the amazing woman who inspired so many people by becoming an author and activist, even though she was deaf and blind. And right beside her, that's Mark Twain. Yep, the guy who wrote Tom Sawyer. Helen reminded him of his daughter. So he shared stories with her by letting her read his lips and help her get into Radcliffe College, where she became the first deaf and blind person to ever graduate from college. All these stories share something super important. One big part of the reason we know about all these people is because they were encouraged and helped along the way by a friend. And here's the awesome thing. You can be an encouraging friend who helps someone become the amazing person they were intended to be. Encouraging someone is way simpler than you think. Often it's just asking how they're doing, offering to hang out when they've got a sprained ankle and can't be part of a group activity, or just commenting on something you've seen they're good at. All it takes is looking for simple ways to encourage with your words and actions. And we're gonna get started right now. I want you to think right now of someone who you can encourage. Who is someone that you can use your words and your actions to be a friend to? Do you have that person in mind? Okay, here's my challenge to you. Don't let today go by without demonstrating friendship to them. Friendship isn't just thinking kind things about someone, it's doing something. Actually using your words and your actions to show them you care. So today, let's get doing something. <laughs> 